Welcome back. The overarching global theme has been rising coal and energy costs across the globe. That's of course hit the profitability of a lot of industries. Coking coal prices have doubled after the US sanctioned Russia, severely affecting a lot of Indian steel companies. Ritu Bhatta Ghosh, the sector head and ADP at Ikra joins us now to talk about that. Uh, Mr. Ghosh, thanks a lot for joining us. You know, you were just telling us a while back that not only have the prices doubled now, but you're expecting the prices overall in FY23 to be far higher than what they were in FY22. Can you just give us some exact numbers on how much have the costs gone up and what would the impact be on, uh, you know, end-user industries like steel? Thanks uh, for having me you on your show. So, uh, talking of coking coal, uh, it went to as high as $670 one week into the conflict. Uh, that is not very surprising because Russia accounts for around 10% of the uh, international trade in coking coal. Of late, there has been some moderation. It's a bit lower than five, $600. But uh, our baseline scenario projects that for the full year as a whole, which is financial at 23, average metallurgical coal prices will settle at around $400 uh, as against uh, $325 in the current fiscal. So it would mean that uh, the kind of input cost pressures, uh, especially in the first quarter of next fiscal, will be extremely elevated for state companies. Okay. Uh, all right. Can you, uh, Mr. Ghosh, then tell us how are you arriving at $400, for example, if you're expecting it to uh, probably average at those levels, but it would still be higher than that 325 that we've seen earlier. Uh, when yeah. do you expect a sustainable average to come through, which would probably result in $400 uh, as an average for cooking coal in FY23? Okay. So first of all, first quarter, uh, because of the fact that we had the rally in uh, the uh, post in the in the month of March. So first quarter will be the peak of the prices because generally these prices get uh, reflected in the P&L of steel company in the lag of two months. So in Q1 of financial year 23, we'll uh, see a sequential increase of around 45 to 50 percent in uh, cooking coal costs. So Q1 will be the peak. But we feel that these level of elevated prices gradually and slowly and steadily as the trade imbalance kind of gradually readjusts with the changing uh, uh, demand supply balance. Uh, over the period of financial year 23, prices will kind of settle. And in the fourth quarter of financial year 23, we expect prices to be somewhere between 300 to $350. So for the full year as a whole, we are saying that prices would be closer to $400 in the base case. However, we have also drawn in two scenarios. One is the optimistic case and the other pessimistic case. The full range that we are working with is anywhere between $350 to $500 both the base case, the pessimistic case, and the optimistic case. Uh, just one follow-up to what you said earlier, just for my understanding, is it uh, feasible for India to look at alternatives to coking coal supplies from Russia? And if yes, uh, you know, how would that sort of alter things in the near future? So on this, uh, we would like to highlight, in the Ikra note, we have highlighted that uh, in the month of October, the government of uh, Russia and the government of India had signed an intergovernmental MOU for uh, collaboration in coking coal production and coking coal supplies, because we don't uh, have adequate amount of coking coal in India. Russia has ample supplies. So that MOU is already there. As we speak, uh, the amount of coking coal we are getting from Russia is very, very less. It's just about 3%. Bulk of it comes from Australia. But obviously, there is a uh, lot of other angles to it. Just uh, economics may not in itself explain, because politics is also a major factor. But if government allows then there is a possibility of uh, Indian companies to increasingly look at Russian cargoes at a discount, uh, what we have seen in the case of oil. Okay, we have, Mr. Ghosh, we're going to discuss this uh, further at another uh, time, but thank you very much for joining in and speaking to us. So yes, uh, cooking coal prices could probably average at around $400 in FY23. That's the view coming in from a crowd. We need to take a short break now, but more on the markets and stocks to action on the other side. Stay tuned.